Welcome back to our daily devotional series from the book of Romans, Sin, Faith, and Salvation. Paul has spent a good bit of the book reminding the Jews and Gentiles that make up the church at Rome that it's not about being a Jew, it's not about being a Gentile, that their relationship with each other and their relationship with God is about Christ Jesus. It is through Christ we have righteousness. It is through Christ we have salvation. It is through Christ we have hope. And now he is concluding his thoughts. He's concluding his time with them in this letter. And he's talking about wanting to see them in person. He has plans, plans to continue to spread the name of Christ among the Gentiles and to encourage Christians. Let's look at what he says in Romans chapter 15, beginning at verse 22. Romans 15, beginning at verse 22. For this reason, I have often been prevented from coming to you. But now, this reason being all the things he's been doing, but now with no further place for me in these regions, and since I have for many years a longing to come to see you, whenever I go to Spain, for I hope passing through to see you and to be helped on my way there by you when I first enjoyed your company for a while, when I have first enjoyed your company for a while. But now I'm going to Jerusalem to serve the saints. For Macedonia and Achaia were pleased to share with the poor among the saints in Jerusalem. Yes, they were pleased to do so, and they are indebted to them. For if the Gentiles have shared in their spiritual things, they are indebted to minister to them in material things. Therefore, when I have completed this, I have put my seal on this fruit of theirs. I will go on by way of you to Spain. And I know that when I come, you will come. I will come in the fullness of the blessing of Christ. Now I urge you, brothers, by our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the love of the Spirit, to strive together with me in your prayers to God for me, that I may be rescued from those who are disobedient in Judea, and that my service for Jerusalem may prove acceptable to the saints, so that I may come to you in joy by the will of God and find rest in your company. Now may the God of peace be with you all. Amen. Paul has plans. He has plans to take the relief fund to Jerusalem and then go to Spain. But on his way to Spain, he wants to go through Rome and visit the saints there. He still has work to do. There are still places he wants to go. There's still people that need to hear the message of God and churches that need to be encouraged. That's his plan. And he's asking the Romans, will you help me with this? I look forward to seeing you. I look forward to sharing with you. I look forward to being blessed by being in your presence. Paul does eventually go to Rome. But we know that when Paul gets to Rome, he's there as a prisoner. It's not how he planned, but it's how he ends up there. Paul had plans. What plans do you have? We make plans to go on vacation. We make plans for retirement. We make plans for education. We make plans for family. We make plans for career. But in planning for school, graduation, marriage, family, career, retirement, vacation. Are we including God in those plans? When you read Paul's plans, everything he was doing, he was doing for God. So when you plan schooling, how can I have a degree that's going to help me be faithful to God? A degree where I can use the opportunities I have to share the good news. When I have a career, when I have a family, am I going to focus my family on God? Am I going to lead my family to be servants of God? Am I going to be an example in my career of a child of God working in that field? So make plans for retirement. Am I going to use my retirement years on myself? Am I going to use them for God? Am I going to take the opportunities that are available to me as one who is retired? As I take vacations, am I including God in my vacations? Let's make our plans, but let's not forget to plan with and for God. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, our Father, we thank you so much for the blessings you give us. Father, everything we have, we have because of you. Everything we do, we do because you have given us those abilities. Father, help us to use those abilities and use that time and use what we have that you have given us and return for you in whatever way we can so that your kingdom will grow, so that people will know the truth of salvation in Christ. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you again for joining me and allowing me to spend this time with you. I look forward to this. I hope you do as well. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day.